Okay, so now you've gotten your two side assemblies fastened to your, your end C channel. You have four bolts at each end. Um, it's time to mount the tough boxes. Okay, so you got your tough box. You just took your two two inch long quarter 20 screws out of the bottom of the tough box. Put the bracket on here. Put your screws back in. Put your, put your nuts back on. Go ahead and tighten these up just like they were before, but now you have the bracket on there. Okay, so you have now a tough box with a bracket on the bottom. It's going to go right here. One's going to go here, one's going to go over here. Let's put this one on since it's closest to me. Okay, so we're going to mount the tough box with the bracket onto this side. Now line up the um, shaft of the tough box about aligned with the middle hole that's dropped down a little bit. Use a quarter twenty, five eighths inch long screw. Put a, put a washer between the screw and the bracket on each side. Kind of hard to hold this thing. Put your nut underneath. So both nuts go on. You can keep this nut and screw assembly loose. Just finger tight them for now. So you've got your tough box mounted to your tough box bracket this mounted in the center of this uh, side rail assembly pointing out toward the outside um, C channel. Next you want to use your C base um, brace for the tough box. First thing you do is take off these two screws and mount it loosely to the top of the tough box. Here's your C base brace. Put the screw in from the brace side just like it was on both sides. And this time, only loosely assemble the nut. Don't tighten it down quite yet. Now we have this side to worry about. Get another quarter, quarter 20 by 5 eighths screw and a quarter inch washer. Put it through the slot into the C-channel hole. Go ahead and put a nut on the back side. Get another quarter 20 another washer, put it into the hole, put your nut on the back side. Alright, so you've got these four screws loose and these two long screws for the tough box loose. Let's go ahead and tighten the screws on the C channels first. Let's do this again for the other side and then we'll move on to the chains. And our tough boxes mounted securely to the C channels with the, the brackets and the braces involved. Um, we still have to tighten up the axles for the wheels. So we have three axles that are loosely assembled. Um, so let's go ahead and tighten up those axles. You're going to need a 9 16 wrench, actually two, two 9 16 wrenches, um, or even an adjustable wrench. So go ahead and tighten up all these. You might be able to get some help on your robotics teams as you do this, much like I have help right now that I, much, I greatly appreciate. Now before you tighten these things too much, you don't need to really tighten them until they stop. You kind of get them, get them snug um, because it is a, a nylock nut and you can tighten it without tightening it all the way and it won't fall off. So go ahead and do that to all four of the wheels. Um, 
You don't need any eggs to do that. I sure hope that you guys have as much help as I have right now. Then you spin your drive base around on those nice slick wheels that you'll have, you'll have tons of fun with, I'm sure. And um, get the other two axles tight. Now we will make another video that shows you some options for the tough boxes and um, the drive system, but those options are not part of the kit. You can come to andymark.com, look at some of those options if you want. And yet we'll have another video, more videos, another video that shows you how to put the chain on, how to put the chain on from the tough box out to each of the sprockets. I think you got 15 tooth chain in each of uh, in your kit, so you have a chain here and a chain there. Thank you for uh, being patient with me as I went through this seat base <laughs> assembly, <laughs> assembly video. Andy Mark is very happy to be able to pro provide this base to the first robotics community this year. And uh, good luck with your build season and competition year. Thank you.